In this question, we get given a circle with an angle here of 69 degrees, a couple of triangles, and what we want to do is find this missing angle X. I think the reason people have found this question difficult in past papers is that you don't really have many numbers at all to work with. So let's get started and look at the type of thinking that will help us on this question. First thing to note is that these two sides here are forming an isosceles triangle. So that means they must be equal. And moreover, it tells us if this angle here at the base of the isosceles triangle is X, well, we can also add an X here, the other base angle of the isosceles triangle. Next step of thinking would be trying to reason about this triangle in the middle somehow. And it might not be obvious at the very start, but if you look at this side here, it goes from the centre of the circle to the circumference, so it's a radius. And so does this side here, OD. That means they must both be the same length because they're both radii of the same circle. So we can actually add these two lines showing actually, yes, this is also an isosceles triangle, even though it might not look like one. So keeping on going then, can we do any more thinking? Well, our next thought should be to try and find maybe some missing angles around here. And if you think back to triangles, well, angles always add up to 180. So if we have two angles of X, what must the third angle be? Well, we don't know any numbers, so we're just stuck with saying 180 minus X minus X, or in other words, 180 minus 2X. So this angle at C must be 180 minus 2x. This is why this question is quite difficult, because we're just sort of following the process without really having any numbers yet. Next step in our thinking. Well, if you know this angle, now we can reason about the other angle at C. And the way that we do that is by thinking, well, angles on a straight line must add up to 180 together. So if this is 180, take away 2x, well, this angle here, the red one, must therefore be 2x. Because 180 take away 2x plus 2x gets you back to 180. And now continuing to use more angle facts. Well, this angle here and this angle here are base angles of an isosceles triangle, thanks to the radii. So if this is 2x, well then this angle here also must be 2x. We're very nearly there at this point. If we know these two angles in this triangle, well we can find the third angle. And a similar kind of thinking to before, they must add up to 180 together. So this angle here must be 180, take away 2x take away another 2x from those two. So in other words, 180 take away 4x. We're almost there to using the numbers now, because nicely for ourselves, we have got one, two, three angles on a straight line. They must add to 180, and we can now form an equation to help us. So we can say 69, I'll go over this side, 69, plus this angle here, which was 180 subtract 4x, take away 4x, plus our third angle, which was x, well, these three must add to give us 180 because they live on a straight line together. We want to solve this, of course, to find x because this is the same x as what we want in the corner. So we've got 69 plus 180, so that should give you 249. Take away 4x plus x should be take away 3x to get to 180. Sorting this out then, we want to take 3x over to this side. And 249 take away 180 should give you 69. Dividing both sides by 3, should get you x equals 23.